Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing Dumbledore, Severus Snape, and Snape's stint as headmaster of Hogwarts. In the following excerpt from the Deathly Hallows, we witness Snape's unusual choice of password for his study. Harry ran without stopping, clutching the crystal flask of Snape's last thoughts, and he did not slow down until he reached the stone gargoyle guarding the headmaster's office. Password? Dumbledore, said Harry, without thinking because it was he whom he yearned to see, and to his surprise, the gargoyle slid aside, revealing the spiral staircase behind. The question is, why on earth would Snape choose a password like Dumbledore? If Snape wanted to keep his office secure, then surely the name of a former headmaster is the worst possible choice. It would almost be anyone's first guess. It's like choosing a password like password or 123. At this stage, Snape's cover was secure, the Death Eaters were sure that they had an ally in Snape, which makes it even more unusual that his choice of password would be the figurehead against the forces of Voldemort. While it's possible that Snape never brought any of the Death Eaters to his office, I think that this is unlikely. The Carrows were teaching at the school during his tenure, and I'm almost positive that Voldemort would have visited Snape in his office at some point. From the Deathly Hallows, and now everything was cool and dark. The sun was barely visible over the horizon as he glided alongside Snape up through the grounds, towards the lake. I shall join you in the castle shortly, he said in his high, cold voice. Leave me now. One theory for why Snape would have chosen the password Dumbledore is that it was an indicator and reminder of a fallen enemy. Snape telling Voldemort that the password is Dumbledore would be a reminder of what they had accomplished, marking their territory in a way that was humiliating to the conquered former headmaster. A form of posthumous disrespect it's exactly the type of thing that Voldemort and the Death Eaters would derive pleasure from. The password was never really meant to function as a security measure, and was more of a symbol or formality. Anyone who was forced to utter the password would be given a not so subtle reminder of who was defeated in order to assume the position. Another possibility is that Dumbledore was never the password at all. We know that the gargoyle guarding the headmaster's office is cognizant of who is trying to enter. This is supported by the fact that Umbridge was refused entry while she was acting as school headmistress. The fat friar told me, he dropped his voice conspiratorially, so that Harry, Ron, and Hermione had to lean closer to him to hear, that Umbridge tried to get back into his office last night after they'd searched the castle and grounds for him, couldn't get past the gargoyle. The headmaster's office had sealed itself against her, Ernie smirked. Apparently she had a right little tantrum. In a magical world, it's reasonable to assume that methods of security are more advanced, and perhaps change, dynamically, according to who it is that is actually trying to enter. With that being said, it's entirely possible that Dumbledore was a password that was entirely specific to Harry. Where Dumbledore may not have worked for someone else as a password, it would work for Harry. Given the gargoyle's high level of awareness, I think that a more dynamic password makes the most sense. Perhaps the password isn't significant at all, and it's more about worthiness of entry. This would explain why Umbridge was never permitted into the office. What do you guys think? Why would Snape set the password to Dumbledore? Did he even set the password? Let us know down in the comments section below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.